KPIX 5's Andrea Borba shows us what it takes to make al fresco dining work in the age of social distancing. Andrea? Well, Ken and Elizabeth, I am live here on the Embarcadero in front of the ferry building. Typically, would be hopping on a Friday night, but take a look behind me. That is Gots, the burger joint in the ferry building right now. There are people there. There are barriers between them, but people are having dinner at a restaurant. At Zazi in Coal Valley, restaurant dining is back, but with more cleaning, more space, and a new wait list to get a seat and get served. Owner Jennifer Bennett says the past few months have been tough as she's worried about her workers and customers. Nobody that does this does it with the wish of someday being a glorified McDonald's, just handling, handing to-go bags through a door. We want the whole experience. I want to take someone's rocky day at work and turn it into a nice, calm pace into their evening. At GOTS at the Ferry Building, social distancing hedges separated picnic tables for those seeking burgers. While in North Beach, restaurant owners with minimal space say the permitting process to reopen is tough between the city and ABC. There's an additional fire permit. I went to the fire department today to try to get a permit so I could put some heat lamps out in the new seating area, which I'm supposed to be allowed to have, but they weren't accepting permits at the fire department. At Cafe Envy in the Bayview, Mayor London Breed and Supervisor Shimon Walton ordered inside and were going to eat garlic noodles with shrimp. The mayor acknowledged the red tape for owners to cut through to reopen and told them not to worry if permits weren't fully ready. Uh, we're here to help you. We want you to succeed. So we're not going to come around with our pen and pad, you know, giving you citations over certain things. We're going to try to talk to you and work with you through this process. Now, part of the problem here is that owners did not get full rules just within the past 24 hours of exactly what needed to happen to reopen. So, of course, the permitting process lagging behind. But you heard the mayor right there. She wants restaurants to reopen and says there will not be citations if they reopen without full permits at this point. Whether or not that happens remains to be seen this weekend. Live on the Embarcadero, Andrea Borba, KPIX 5.